OK, there's one game in the Championship this evening. Bournemouth can return to the top of the table if they can beat Fulham at Craven Cottage. I'm delighted to say we're joined by the Bournemouth chairman, Jeff Moss, in the studio. Jeff, lovely to see you. I know you've just been admiring the studio. Absolutely, yeah. It's a real <laughs> privilege being here. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's an honour to have you on, sir. And um, Tuesday night, first win in six for your side against yes. Wolves. Yeah. A bit of a relief? Naturally, you know, there was relief. Uh, the previous five games didn't quite go according to plan. So to get back to winning ways um, and to do it, you know, in the fashion that we did was absolutely superb. So, yeah, very, very happy. Uh, the form it was a little bit indifferent uh, going into that one. Do you think the pressure's been getting to the team because maybe you're getting to the business end of the season? Yeah, uh, I'm not convinced that the pressure was any more intense than it has been. You know, there's pressure on every game. And the higher up the food chain you get, um, I think you're right to say there is pressure brought to bear. But it, I think it's how you handle the pressure. And I think the boys have done remarkably well, because even through that five games without a victory, we only lost two games. People uh, forget that. And the boys were continuing to play in the same fashion that Eddie has set out since the first game of the season. And Jeff? Is promotion a real possibility this season? Can it be done? It really can, <laughs> yeah. I mean, my glass is always overflowing, so um, certainly from my perspective, it can be done. And I think it's been so topsy-turvy at the top. You lose a couple of games and everybody's writing you off, and then your nearest competitors lose a couple of games and you're back in the, in the hunt. And um, I think we're, you know, we're as confident as we can be. But um, I've got to always follow the manager's mantra, and it's one game at a time. There's 11 games to go, and tonight just happens to be one of them. And do you think Bournemouth are ready for the Premier League? Can they compete up there? Well, whether we can compete or not, that's a different, uh, a different question. Um, we know that if you get into the Premier League, there are leagues within leagues. And I think that, you know, we have every opportunity, if we are uh, reaching the promised land, of competing on a light-for-light -light basis with the teams of um, similar size and similar budgets. Jeff, you talked about following the, the manager's mantra yes. there. Uh, Eddie Howe, one of the most respected young managers in the country at the yes. moment. Um, thing is, his name is always getting linked with any managerial job yes. that comes up. Yeah. Uh, do you think you can hold on to him? Well, the desire is to hold on to him, and I think that desire is two ways. You know, I think Eddie has clearly demonstrated. He's been at the football club since he was 10. Um, and uh, if you say there's a marriage made in heaven, this one is definitely made in heaven. And I think Eddie wants to fulfil his ambition of managing a premiership side. But I believe that that side will be Bournemouth. It's a wonderful story, isn't it, what yes. he has achieved there. Uh, what's he like to work with? He's a, uh, it's, he's a real gem to work with because... Um, I've always believed that winning is important, you know, not the taking part. <laughs> and Eddie is a perfectionist. And what I love about him, he's so articulate. Um, I think he's probably one of the most articulate managers in, in the whole of football, not just in the football league. So you can actually have an educated conversation with him and you know that he leaves nothing to chance. And I think with Eddie at the helm, we've got every possibility of fulfilling a dream. And Jeff, of course, you are the chairman of the club, yes. but the club is actually owned by the mysterious Maxim Denham. Yes. Can you just tell us a little bit about yes. how this relationship works? Yes, well, he, of course, he's only mysterious to those that don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not mysterious to me. Um, we have a fantastic relationship, you know, with Maxim. He's very hands-on, although he's not at the club every day. Um, every day he's in contact. Um, Neil Blake is the go-between our uh, chief executive, and he'll speak to Eddie and Jason, you know, daily. So um, he is absolutely passionate um, about the football club and it's his dream to take this football club into the Premiership. And, you know, if we are fortunate enough to get into the Premiership this year, I know that we will push on and Maxim will continue to invest. And if for whatever reason we don't, um, he'll still be pushing on to try and achieve that dream at some stage in the future. I was going to say, cause if, if you do get promotion to the Premier League, will it take quite a lot of investment to, as Joe says, compete yeah. in that top division? It will. I think uh, the investment will come from two, two fronts. One, of course, is the huge windfall that you'll get from uh, the Premier League. So we're all looking forward to 
um, seeing a little bit, a little slice of that. Um, and then in addition to that, obviously, you know, Maxim will uh, ensure that the club is run in a financially sound position. What we wouldn't want to do is uh, like make the same mistake that a lot of clubs have in bringing in um, uh, footballers at huge sums that are unaffo you know, they're just not affordable if for whatever reason things don't work out for the best. Heading to Craven Cottage tonight, feeling I, confident? I'm feeling very confident tonight, but I, I always do. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be a difficult game because they all are in the championship. Everybody's got something to play for. I think it's the most competitive league in Europe, and it's also the most exciting. So there's everything um, you know, to go positively there tonight, and of course a win will put us back on the top of the league. Good luck tonight. Thank you so game. much. Thank you for having me. It's been a real privilege Thank being you. here. Thank you very much for coming Thank in. Thank you so much. And as we mentioned, that big game, you can see Bournemouth take on Fulham. It's live on Sky Sports 1 from half past seven tonight.